Welcome to the virtual college exploration for all California students, sponsored by the College to Career Fairs and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type out questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. So if you wanna ask them any questions, use the Q&A button. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at college to career fairs connect.org. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website, college to career fairs connect.org. I now like to turn it over to our presenters. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm going to pull up our uh, PowerPoint real quick. Um, but thank you so much for joining us. My name is Nolan Ruthie, um, and I am your admission counselor at Bradley University. I work with all students from California. Um, so if you ever need anything, I'm your main point of contact for all things Bradley, um, whether that be um, the application itself or anything financial assistance related, or if you ever want to talk to a faculty member, I'm happy to help make all of that happen. Um, but tonight I wanted to give you a, a little bit of an overview of what Bradley University was all about, um, let you hear from some students, talk about the application a little bit, and then talk about um, you know, where we are, where we're located, and what we do. So um, the best place to start is where we are. Uh, Bradley University is located in Peoria, Illinois, um, which is central Illinois. And if you drew a big circle around us, um, you, in about three hour radius from us, you would find Chicago, St. Louis, and India, in Indianapolis. Um, so we're actually the largest metropolitan area, downstate Illinois, um, south of Chicago. And we, um, there's a lot of cool things that come through Peoria, a lot of big name concerts, um, sporting events. So it's kind of a, a perfect combination. It's got the big kind of big city feel. We've got a thriving downtown area. Um, but it also has your more rural urban area. So it's kind of the perfect combination. Um, if you're looking for something that feels like home or if you're looking to branch out, it's got a little bit of everything for you. Much like Peoria is the perfect combination, um, I think Bradley is also the perfect combination. It is a mid-sized university. And you might be thinking, what does mid-sized mean? Well, we have the resources and the opportunities and the faculty of your larger schools, but we have the more personalized one-on-one -on -one attention of your smaller schools. So being about nearly 6,000 students, that puts us right in that mid-size range. And that's one thing I really liked. Um, I graduated from Bradley actually about a year ago. And one thing that really drew me in is that it had a very personal touch to it. Um, it, you know, people seem to know each other. People seem very friendly and inviting. Um, the campus wasn't huge, so I didn't feel like I was gonna get lost very easily. Um, but the professors that I, uh, I spoke with did some really cool things, um, have, you know, worked internationally, have published research, things like that. So it really is the best of both worlds. Um, but, you know, to, to really kind of give you an idea what it was, I figured it'd be cool to let you hear from some students who are from closer to your area, um, rather than just take my word for it. Um, so we actually have an opportunity here to, to hear from some of our students. All right, guys. Hello. Uh, so we are just a little bit little student panel for you. We're going to answer um, some questions and just give you a little introduction to the student life at Bradley University. So my name is Jackson. I am a senior kinesiology and health science major from Urbana, Illinois. Um, and I have a double minor in business studies and religious studies. Okay, hi guys, my name is Erica Hoff. I am from Simi Valley, California, and I am a user experience design major with a graphic design minor, and I am a senior. I am also a senior. My name is Chloe Predmore, and I am a finance and marketing double major with a minor in management and leadership from Sammamish, Washington, which is like right outside Seattle. You're on mute. Sorry about that. My name is Evan. I am a junior kinesiology and health science major with a minor in philosophy from Beaverton, Oregon, which is a suburb of Portland. Awesome. So I know we're talking to a bunch of people from California today. Um, so we brought three people from the West Coast. Uh, so Erica, you are from California. Um, so one question for you is why choose Bradley in the middle of Illinois? 
Yeah, um, <laughs> I chose Bradley um, partially because of my major and then beyond that because of how nice everyone was. Um, everyone talks about Southern hospitality, but they don't really talk too much about Midwest hospitality. But I mean, what I got from what I got from Bradley was every single person I talked to was so attentive to me and like genuinely cared about what I was doing. But when I was looking at like ASU and um, a, co a couple other places, like I took me forever to get in contact with an admissions counselor. But at Bradley, before I even applied, I was talking to the person who would be my admissions counselor and would be my advisor and my major. And I just got the same treatment throughout that entire time. So um, everyone's just super nice there. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Nice. It's that Midwestern hospitality. Yep. <laughs> um, all right. So, Chloe, uh, you are from West Coast as well. So just what was one of your biggest concerns coming to Illinois? Yeah, I was really nervous that coming to Illinois from like so far away, I wouldn't be able to get there or at least get there conveniently. But one thing that's actually really cool about Peoria is that there is actually an international airport here. Um, so it has flights like all over the country and even a couple outside of the country. I'm sure they go to like Canada or something, but still. Um, so it was really cool and it has connections to O'Hare like multiple times a day. And there's also the Peoria Charter, which comes from the Chicago suburbs and O'Hare airport to Bradley directly. So there's tons of different ways to get here, which is really convenient for me. And again, was something I was super duper nervous about, like coming from so far away. And what was probably like the most shocking thing coming to the Midwest? Okay, I would definitely say that like some of the words people here use are very different from the words back home. So I remember the first time I went home for winter break um, after like freshman year, first semester, I was like running into things or like running into people or whatever, just random occasions. And I'd be like, oh, sorry. Oh, my bad. And my mom's like, you say "op" now? And I guess that's something that I picked up from the Midwest. So definitely the things that people say here were very surprising. I didn't believe that that was real. <laughs> it's definitely real. Um, okay, so one cool thing about Bradley is that we do uh, have two experiential learning tags um, that we kind of just assure you're going to have as a Bradley student. And so, Evan, I know that you got one studying abroad. So do you want to talk a little bit about that experience for us? Yeah, so um, I never thought I would actually go and study abroad, but then I heard about the J term, which is like a little interim um, little semester so you can usually take one class and I took a class called exploring diversity in London which fulfilled a Bradley core curriculum so I got one of my gen eds out of the way and I got to take it in London and we actually got to go to museums for class uh, sometimes we'd stay at the hotel and do classes um, I got to go with other Bradley students with Bradley faculty uh, and we got on um, like train passes we got to like ride the tube every day and eat at all these like awesome restaurants in London. We were like right in central downtown London. Um, so we just got to explore, we only had class for a couple hours, not a ton of homework assignments. So we could actually go out and really, uh, really explore the culture. And it was one of the best two and a half weeks of my life. It was super fun. Like if you were not thinking about study abroad, I hope this put this on your radar and definitely look into it for sure. Yeah. Fun fact, I actually went on a study abroad trip to London as well and took the same course, but once one year prior to Evan. So we do have about, uh, I think it's a two day split where there's no classes and you can do a day long uh, tour somewhere. And I went to Stonehenge. Did you do that, Evan? I also went to Stonehenge yeah. and Oxford and this huge castle. It was awesome, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely recommend study abroad. We have a great program here for any major. Um, all right, so we don't have much time with you guys, but we all wanted to share one last piece of advice um, just for transitioning into college. So Erica, you want to start us off? Yeah, definitely. Um, so what I would say coming from California specifically is um, to make sure that the space that you create at your next at your college is going to be someplace that feels like home. Um, I probably brought about like 30 pictures to put all over my walls of just like my family and like my favorite celebrities and just like pretty pictures and everything like that um, to make sure that it really felt really felt cozy and not like I was in some like foreign place. So I would say make your space homey and it'll make it a lot easier. Nice. I'll go next. So my piece of advice is um, just to get involved in one or two organizations that you're really going to connect with and uh, really be excited to be involved with. 
Um, my biggest concern was making friends and feeling like I belonged in a place where I didn't know anybody. Um, come, especially coming from high school with nobody else from my high school at all. It was just me. Uh, so get involved in one or two organizations because you're going to find your friends through those mutual interests that you have. Um, and just being at a place where you feel like you belong and you can call home, kind of like what you said, Erica. Um, and that's the kind of place that Bradley is and what you can experience here. So, yeah, that's mine. Yeah, my piece of advice was to be open-minded and be open to trying new things. Uh, for me, like I said, I wasn't really sure about doing study abroad. I didn't want to pay the extra money to do it, but I ended up doing it. It was one of the best experiences of my life, and that's just one of the examples of doing something, stepping out of my comfort zone, um, and just really going out there, and it's really going to help you grow as a person in college, and that's really the time to really start growing and start becoming your own person is in college. So that's my bit. I would say don't be afraid to do your own thing. I remember when I was a senior, we did like this map of the United States at the end of the year and it was like put where you're going to school on the map. And I swear like at least half of the school was going somewhere like either in Washington or really close to it. And I was one of the only ones going like to the entire state of Illinois. I was the only one graduating in my class going to Illinois. And at first I was like really nervous about that because did I do something wrong? Like, did I make the wrong choice sort of thing going through my head? But do what like feels right because once I got here, I realized like it was still one of the best decisions I've ever made. So do what's best for you, whether that be stay close to home, go far away, but don't like compare yourself to others even though it gets really easy to do and just do what's best for you and stick with your gut. That's awesome. Yeah, so uh, that's all we really have for you today. We really hope this helped you consider Bradley in some way, shape, or form. Uh, we would love to see you guys on the hilltop, especially y'all in California. Come on over. We'll show you what cold weather feels like. Uh, so, yeah, hope you have a great time, and it was great talking to you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much to our students um, for, for kind of giving you a little bit of information from the student perspective of what it's like to come from out west. Um, I also wanted to mention, definitely utilize that chat. If you do have any questions throughout, my colleague Molly is watching the chat. She serves as one of our assistant directors of admission here at Bradley, um, and she is happy to answer any questions throughout as well. Um, so you just heard a little bit about um, what student life is like. Um, so now we'll kind of delve into what campus life is like. Bradley is definitely a, a very residential campus. Um, there's always events and activities going on, um, you know, throughout the evenings and the weekends. Um, it spans about 85 acres, um, which is really about four city blocks um, to kind of put it into a better perspective. But to break it down even further, I mean, this is Bradley's campus here in one overhead picture. Um, and, and to really put it into perspective, we've got a parking deck on one side of campus with the, the, the label P over it, and then another parking deck on the other side of campus. And if you really needed to, you could probably power walk between those two parking decks in 10 minutes. Um, so it's not like you're gonna have to take a bus 30 minutes between classes um, or risk being late to somewhere. I mean, you'll have time to run through the student center, grab a snack, you know, sit down for some lunch, um, things like that. So it's, it's a very nice, um, community feel, but not uh, overwhelmingly large. So Bradley is made up of five different colleges, um, which house about 185 different academic programs. Uh, that being our Foster College of Business. So if you're interested in things like accounting, marketing, um, different things like that, economics. Those are all housed under our Foster College of Business. Our Slane College of Communication and Fine Arts houses things like theater, music, graphic design, game design. We have a top 15 game design program. Um, communications, public relations, television arts, um, all housed under the Communication and Fine Arts College. And then the cool thing about this college, I think, is this is the college that you can um, very much participate in regardless of your major. If you're interested in things like music, you can totally still be involved in music without majoring in that. Um, and we totally welcome and encourage that. Um, our, another college is our College of Education and Health Science. So anything teacher education related, anything K through 12 teaching, um, health sciences, physical therapy, we have a direct admit nursing program. 
which is housed under our College of Education and Health Science, which is another really popular one. Um, and then we have our Caterpillar College of Engineering and Technology, which is a top 30 ranked in the nation um, college for engineering and technology. Everything from civil engineering to construction to mechanical to electrical computer engineering, um, everything like that all housed in that program. And then our College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, probably our biggest college, um, which houses the most majors, but it's also the college that the most people double major in. So it houses everything um, you know, related to like laboratory sciences and biology, chemistry, all of the, the hard sciences, the social sciences, psychology, sociology, um, things like math, things like English. So a lot of those, those kind of broad ranging subjects and it's very easy to add a double major, add a minor, um, all of the foreign languages are housed there, which are really popular um, double majors and minors, things like that. So it's really cool um, that you can kind of choose your own path, pick different courses, things like that, um, cross collaborate across programs. Um, it's such an easy process to do things like that. Another program, which isn't necessarily a college, but you get the same benefits as if um, you're in any of the other colleges is our academic exploration program. And actually Bradley was one of the first schools to offer something like this. So if you come into college and you're not sure what you wanna major in, that's totally okay. In the academic exploration program, you still get an academic advisor like you would in any of the other programs, but that person kind of has an idea of all the majors and can really help you figure out what your interests are um, and help you find a major based on that. So that is a really cool program. It's, we have a little of something for everyone, whether you're like, yeah, I know I've wanted to study this for years or, I'm not sure what I want to study, but I'm ready to go figure that out. We have a little bit of that for everything. So our average class size is around 17 um, students per class, and that puts us at about a 12 to 1 student to faculty ratio. So you, like I said before, you get that really hands-on attention. You get to know your professors. They get to know you within the first few weeks of classes. They all have to have office hours where you can drop in and get that additional help if you need to. Uh, which is something that really drew me to Bradley. Another really cool thing is that all of your classes would be 100% faculty taught. People that have PhDs or people that have published research, people that are still active in their field. None of our classes are taught by teachers assistants or grad students. They're just there for the extra help. You're gonna be learning from people that have experience in the field, that still have connections in the field and that are there to help you every step of the way as well. So I know one of the students mentioned this, but I think this is a really, really cool thing that we offer. Um, we guarantee all students at least two experiential learning opportunities as we label it here, or two real world opportunities before they graduate from Bradley. Uh, two things that you can have on your resume the day you leave Bradley to hand to employers to say, hey, here's what you're looking for that I've already done uh, during my time in college. Um, whether that be an internship, a co-op, your own student-led research, uh, you know, a special project that you've worked on, something like that, that you will be able to show um, employers that you already have real-world hands-on experience in that field. And I think that is, is so awesome that, that we have that, and we guarantee you not just one, but two of those before you graduate. So, of course, academics are important. Um, but you're gonna have plenty of time that you spend outside the classroom as well. And here at Bradley, um, we have such a huge focus on student engagement. We say, hey, this is your experience, so you should be getting what you want out of your experience, and we're gonna help with that, um, which is why we're such a top school in student engagement. So we have over 240 student organizations that you can participate in, and this is like a shot of um, one of our, the big events that we do at Bradley, there's always a big, um, kind of welcome week activities fair um, where you can see what clubs are available. Um, you can go get contact information um, and put yourself in touch with those clubs so you can participate in them, ranging from um, you know, different dance teams, um, different music performance opportunities to religious, to if you're someone that's really interested in community service and volunteer work, um, we have clubs for that. We have um, about a third of our campus is involved in Greek life. So you have the opportunities to participate in one of our fraternities and sororities. We also have a huge um, club and intramural sports program ranging from every level of commitment where you're, if you're like, I still wanna be a little involved in sports, but I, I also wanna take plenty of time to focus on school. Or if you're like, yep, I got both. I wanna be intense in sports. I'll do just fine in school. There's every level of commitment in between. 
And then there's also plenty of academic and honorary um, societies and groups that supplement your major, benefit your major, um, and could potentially lead to additional connections um, in a career field one day, which I think is really awesome. So now that you've heard a little bit about campus life um, and a little bit about academic life, um, it's important to know a little bit about how to get there. So applications are open. Applications opened up July 1st or August 1st if you um, are using the Common App or if you're um, not a senior, think of this when um, you are a senior. That's about the date that everything will open up. So this kicks off our early action period. Um, which puts you in priority consideration for scholarships, and it also allows you, us to give you a response faster. Um, so we're on both, uh, we are on the Common App, but we also have our own Bradley application um, that you can find at that website above. Um, it can take you links to both places. Um, one thing that we do like to emphasize is that we have a couple programs that are very popular and high in demand. Um, so if you are a senior and you're interested in nursing or game design animation, um, definitely encourage you to apply within that early action period. Um, I like to tell people Halloween is a really good kind of target goal to have everything submitted by. That way you're still within that November 1st deadline um, and you still have you know, time to do that final read if you need to. But if you are interested in one of those uh, more uh, sought out programs, definitely, no matter what college you go to, definitely apply as early as you can. So the things that are required um, here at Bradley for admission are the application, again, whether it's the Bradley app or the Common app, and then we'll need an official copy of your academic transcript um, sent from your school, sent from your high school counselor um, to us uh, so we can review that. We won't be able to review your, applica your application without that. Um, and then a personal statement or an essay, um, whether you choose one of the prompts on the Common application um, or you write about something um, you know, an achievement you made, anything like that on the Bradley application, an essay is also required. And then this year, um, you can optionally choose to submit some additional pieces of information to supplement your application. So we are test optional. So it's totally up to you if you want to submit your SAT or ACT scores, if you were able to take them. Um, they can only benefit you. Um, it's not going to count against you if you don't submit them. And if you do submit them, that'll only uh, supplement your application that much more. And then we also encourage letters of recommendation. They're not required, um, but they can only help your case. So we totally recommend um, letters of recommendation as well. So you might be thinking, all right, that's cool. It's nice to hear about student life. It's nice to hear about the application process, but another important piece of information of course, is the scholarship and cost of what it might be to attend Bradley or, or college for that matter. Um, and this was a big one to me. I was, um, you know, financing college all on my own when I came to Bradley. Uh, my parents um, didn't have much experience with the whole college process at all. Neither of them went to four-year university. So this was a huge one for me. Um, and a great starting place is you can find it at the website listed on the slide, um, but our scholarship estimator and our net price calculator. This allows you to plug in information um, and it will generate an estimate of what your specific cost might be. So 90% of students receive financial assistance at Bradley, which I think is awesome. Um, and to figure out what that might specifically look for you, this is a great place to start. The more specific information you plug in in terms of your academics, um, you know, some family financial things, the better picture it'll give you of what it specifically might look like for you to attend Bradley. So this is a great place to start. Um, if you are just like, I don't know what this looks like, I don't know what it might cost, um, I can't recommend starting here enough. And as admission counselors, if anything of it's confusing to you, that's exactly what I'm here for. I'm here to help you with this process, to walk you through things like the scholarship estimator and to really make sure that you have an understanding of everything that you're looking at. So I know that this, uh, the last few months haven't really created an opportunity to, to get out and about and see those colleges, but we have really great virtual visit opportunities, much like tonight. Um, so if you check out our website, there are some really cool things on there. You can see um, what our residence halls look like. There are different facilities, different academic areas that you can tour. Um, you can sign up for a virtual event. Um, which I know is really, really makes things a lot more accessible um, for students like you out in California, because it's not always as easy, even, even outside of a pandemic, it's not as easy to um, make your way to campus in Illinois. 
Um, but there's a lot of cool things that we, we have to offer. And I think there's a lot of things that you'll enjoy um, if you just saw um, the kind of things that we, we had here. So definitely check out our virtual visit page. Um, and there's, there's a lot of cool opportunities on there. So with that, um, I wanted to show you one thing that we um, have on that page. Um, I wanted to show you our tour of campus video. I know I've talked about it, I've kind of mentioned it, shown some pictures, but I figured it'd be best to see um, a couple of students walk you through campus. So I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you now. Hi guys, welcome to Bradley. My name is Megan, I'm a senior nursing major from Batavia, Illinois. And hey, my name is Jamal Stevenson, I am a uh, senior criminology major from Jefferson City, Missouri. All right, let's head out and see campus. All right, our next stop is the Student Center, so let's head in. Basically, this is a, a hub where students just get together, have fun, we have a lot of stuff, uh, cool stuff happening, and uh, we'll show you. All right, so over on this side is kind of a little bit more of a quieter area, so we have good spots to study over here. If you go down to the lower level, we have Marty Theater down there. Um, so it's open for students. We have movies going on throughout the semester. Um, and then we'll head over more towards the food side over here. Upstairs, there's also a ballroom, so we have some smaller events usually go on up there, some like comedians sometimes, um, different kind of events will go on up there. My favorite spot of the whole place is the food court, obviously. Here we have a ton of restaurants, uh, including Moe's. We have a sandwich place, we have a salad place. We also have Chick-fil-A uh, that has a full menu, which is pretty sweet. So um, the best thing about this place is that it's open until 12 o'clock. All right, and then over here we have the pod, which is basically like our mini target on campus. So you can get um, some of your Starbucks drinks over here. We do have a Starbucks uh, partial menu. And then you can also get, you know, laundry detergent, shampoo, conditioner, and things like that. All right, now we're gonna make our way to the Business Engineering Center. Business and Engineering Conversion Center. Over here we have a small little coffee area. Behind us we are on the engineering side. So this is the engineering maker space. Basically engineering majors can go in there, break stuff down, build it up again. And then behind us is considered the business side. So we have the analytics lab over here. And the cool thing about it is that it's very high tech. So every student has two monitors and then the professor is able to Bluetooth whatever's on the student monitor uh, onto this larger monitor that you'll see behind us. I know you're thinking, what if I'm not a business or engineering major? Well, what do I do in this building? Above, we have what's called a collaboration spaces where students of any major can pretty much just come here and collaborate and study and just do what they need to do to make sure that they get uh, the full Bradley experience. So we know this building is really big, so a way to adapt yourself is to use the Wayfinder. Basically, uh, we are stationed here right now. If you need to get to the accounting, then you just press on the directions, and it takes to where you are now, and it shows you the quickest way to get to your location, which is pretty nice. All right, let's get to the next location. So currently we are on the alumni quad right now. Um, behind us we have the Renaissance Coliseum. So our women's basketball plays in there, women's volleyball. Our men's basketball does not play in there. They play downtown to uh, Peoria Civic Center. It's just a larger arena because uh, our men's basketball has such a large fan base. So behind us, uh, you see the circle of flags and uh, that's a new addition to Bradley, which is really nice. Uh, basically this area is used for anything pretty much. We have a pretty cool football thing that we do. Basically we play flag football, we play against the staff sometimes pretty dope. Um, and then these trees right here, they're all nine in a row. This is Hammock City. Uh, on a nice day like this, people will come out and they'll just grab their hammocks and they'll stay there, they'll read, nap, and do whatever they need to do, which is really nice. So let's head into the alumni center.
All right, I want to take this moment to talk about Lydia. Lydia Moss Bradley is Bradley University's founder, remarkable lady. Basically, she has six kids. They all died before the age of 16. She had two husbands, her first husband. Uh, when he passed away, she inherited all of his money. So she decided to invest her money in a lot of farmland. And then she also decided that she wanted to be on the National Bank Board. So she brought all this money over to a bank here in Peoria. So she was one of the first women on the National Bank Board. So in the Alumni Center, this is just kind of like our little museum on campus. Basically highlights our founder and then also notable alum. Mark and Recreation Center, a couple things to touch on. So as soon as you walk in on your right, there's gonna be health services. Health services is run by nurses and physicians that come from OSF. So any student that comes in there that might be feeling a little ill, um, they'll be able to help take care of us. So if they need any medication, they can prescribe that to you as well. And then over in Campus Town, we have a CVS where they can pick that up. This is my favorite building. I spent a lot of time here. Uh, first things first, our pool, our pool is saltwater filtered. Uh, basically, we know that uh, some students on campus Campus are allergic to chlorine, so we just want to avoid that entirely, which is really nice. Um, our facility also has uh, free weights, machinery weights, and we also have uh, courts where you can transform into volleyball courts, pickleball courts, pretty much anything you like. We have racquetball uh, courts, we have dance studios. Uh, best thing about this is that this is only available for Bradley students, alumni, faculty, and staff, and no other people. So um, it's not like your local one say where anybody can just come work out. It's all uh, for Bradley students. And then to add to that, we also have all of our intramural sports uh, will occur in here. So basketball, volleyball, all those different things um, that goes on in here as well. If you're interested in club sports, then I'm also in club basketball. Um, basically, you just pay a small fee and everybody can just go and it's very competitive. We're in Westlake Hall. This is one of our original buildings on campus. So in 2012, we actually made this building six times larger. So behind me, you'll be able to see kind of the newer side. As we're uh, walking around, you'll notice that the exterior to the original building became the interior to the new side of the building, which is pretty cool because right now, you know, back in 2012, we would have been in a parking lot. The thing about this building is that it's LEED certified, which is basically very, very, very environmental friendly. So my favorite thing is the railings are made of bamboo and a floor upstairs is made of cork. Um, like I mentioned earlier, this is um, the building that houses all of our education and health science. For me, as a nursing major, this is where I spend a lot of my time. So up on the third floor, we have nursing simulation labs up there. Um, that's actually where our birthing simulator is located. All right, next we'll head into the library. Welcome to the library. Uh, this is one part of the library where uh, that offers a lot of resources for Bradley students. Right here you see you have a reserves desk. Basically, if you need a laptop, if you need a laptop charger, if you need a phone charger, this is where you pick it up. Uh, you just flash your Bradley ID and then they'll take care of the rest for you. And then back here, we have the computer help desk. Basically, it's an area where, let's say your laptop starts acting up and you need somebody to fix it. Well, uh, basically, these are all students and you can just bring your laptop there and they can help you out the best they can. Okay, so behind me, we have Stacks. So it's basically Starbucks and Snacks. Um, it's a great place for students to go while they're in the library, get a quick coffee, bagels, um, cookies, quick little snacks like that. And then also students can use their meal plan to pay for that. All right, so on this side is a great area to study. You'll notice that the library is set up a little bit more unique. So over to our right, we have the stick and shake booth kind of style. So great for group study, group projects. Um, behind me, you'll notice that the whole entire perimeter of this first floor of the library are whiteboards. So from the ceiling all the way down to the floor is gonna be a whiteboard. For a nursing major, that is my dream. I literally write all across the whole entire wall. Um, as you keep looking around, you'll notice that we do have a kind of large sense for like group work. So all of our tables are usually centered around different pods between like three and four people. Um, we do have different kind of setups uh, with like pod stations so if you like to have white noise and you still want to be a little bit more focused we have these pods where you kind of almost like enclose yourself in. The library is full of four floors so upstairs on the second floor is basically a spin image of this one. On the third floor that's our academic success center 
fancy name for tutor. And basically, anybody can be a tutor. Uh, you have to have the appropriate grade in the class. It's usually A or B, but it's up to the professor's discretion. Uh, you Students can also have free tutoring, which is really, really nice. Um, and then in the lower level of the, uh, of the library, we have, that's the no talking level. So if you need to go down there um, and just focus and just hammer through things, then that's where you go. That's where I spend most of my time because I'm a huge professional. So we'll head to Olin Hall next. Okay, welcome into Olin Hall. So uh, this houses all of our uh, science majors. As we're walking through, you'll notice that there's a lot of research posters. So the cool thing about Bradley is you can start research as an undergrad starting day one. Doesn't matter the major or what you are, year you are in uh, college, you're able to participate in research literally as soon as you step foot on campus. So as you're walking down this hallway, you'll notice that there's a separation between the walls. So on the reddish side or the burnt orange, that's where all of your teaching labs are going to be. So you always know as a student, that's where your lab is going to be located. On the white walls, along with the research posters, that's where all of your professor offices will be, research labs, and then also your classrooms. So it's kind of a good and distinct uh, difference between which side you need to go to. My favorite thing about this building, uh, the best thing about this building, is that all of the plants are actually clones. All right, guys, let's check out our last stop at the Nero. All right, guys, with that, we'll conclude our tour. Thank you for coming with us. Don't forget, next time you're at Bradley, to snap a picture in front of our wonderful Nero. Go Braves. Well, hopefully that provided you uh, a good idea of what campus looks like. I know it's not the exact same as getting to be there um, and walking around and seeing the buildings and interacting with the people, but hopefully that was able to provide you a really good glimpse um, of what it's like to be a student at Bradley, um, whether it be the video walking around campus or you know a bit about the academic life um, or the campus life, everything like that. I think it's always important to remember too, everything you do in college is beneficial in some way whether it is helping you find your interests, helping you find what you want to do for the rest of your life, or trying something out um, and realizing that you're not as interested in it. Everything you do in college is beneficial, um, and everything you do will help your future, will help point you um, to life after college, and that's, you know, the most important part of college. Um, all that to say, um, everything you do, all of these experience will, will help you make those connections, help you network, help you grow as a person and an individual, which will help lead to that job one day. And Bradley's there every step of the way to help with that too. Um, and I thought it was really important to point out that we have a 94% career outcomes rate. So within six months of graduation, 94% of our students are in a job in graduate school um, or pursuing what they set out to pursue after college. Um, and whether it is right after college or 10 years down the road, you're looking to make a career move, we're still gonna be with you every step of the way, whether it's connecting with our Alumni Center, our Smith Career Center, which is an amazingly staffed um, and very well-established career center. We're gonna be there to help every step of the way. So hopefully that gave you a really good perspective um, of what campus looks like, of what life at Bradley is like and what we can do to help you um, after campus. So if you need anything at all, um, here's my contact information. Again, I am your admission counselor. I'm here to help every step of the way. Um, if you ever need anything, if there's something that, you know, if you're just struggling to start that application, I can help with that. Um, you know, or if a couple months go by and we're in financial assistance time, I'm there to help explain all of that to you. Um, but feel free to reach out, feel free to utilize me if you ever need anything. And I'm always happy to help. So and it looks like we still have some time. Um, if anyone has any questions or anything like that, we're happy to answer. Um, but again, I just want to thank you so much for joining us. And I hope um, you were able to get a really good picture of what, what we do here at Bradley. So I just have um, just one screen to share, a slide to share, and then the rest of the time can be for questions. Uh, thank you for joining us. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. 
We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this is just one of many sessions being hosted. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions at college to career fairs connect.org. In about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at college to career fairs connect.org. Thank you. And you can use these next five minutes for any questions. All right, it looked like the last student left. So thank you very much. Um, it was a great presentation. Take care.